there have been points in Iran's recent history where things have looked more progressive, haven't there? So, yeah. and, and that's what you're saying. This is why it's such a sort of strange moment. And these are very well-educated young people. Um, <clears throat> there are Iranian women lawyers and someone in, you know, in high positions. Um, so it's not just a simple case of uh, a patriarchal society with all these kind of oppressed people who, who have suddenly risen up. It's more that, I think I'm right to say, tell me I'm wrong, but you know, it's more that um, uh, you know, there was a sense that Iran had been moving towards uh, uh, you know, more freedom. Maybe it, had, it probably had more freedom 2,000 years ago, who knows, or in the time of Rumi. I mean, <laughs> I think we, we have this idea that each country in the world gets progressively more kind of civilized. Uh, but actually things go up and down, don't they? And so um, yeah. that's what struck me when we talked about it before, is that uh, in, in terms of that sort of progressive politics, uh, women's education, women's freedom, and other sorts of freedoms. Yeah, um, things ha have been looking more progressive in the past. So, when when was it looking more progressive in Iran? You know, was it in the sixties, fifties, seventies? Um, and why well, did it go backwards? You know, well, it, that's really interesting, Tom. It depends what we call progress. You know, we when we look at pictures of the 60s and the 70s, you know, Iran and the Shah's time when I was growing up there, it looks very progressive because, you know, everyone's wearing Western dress and there's mini skirts and there's, you know, some, if women wanted to be in her job, they could be, but, you know, it wasn't mandatory and most people weren't. Um, but at the same time, and, you know, and the Shah did make great strides in terms of giving women a lot of rights. You know, women got the vote in 1963 um, they were able to hold most positions. And in 76, I think, um, Iran passed the most progressive family laws in the region where uh, marriage age was at 18. Women had, I think, equal rights to divorce and custody of their children, you know, really progressive laws for the Middle East. Having said that, under um, during the Islamic Republic, women's well, literacy generally has shot up to over 90%, which is the highest in the region. But, you know, women actually, it, it's it's complicated, you know, it's on the one hand, of course, this is a, um, a regime that discriminates in law against women at every turn. But at the same time, it's also given access to women to education, you know, 65% of university graduates are women, because conservative families, let's say, in the Shah's time that wouldn't have wanted to send their daughters out to school or to university and would never have sent them away from home to study that kind of thing. Um, they felt much safer once it was an Islamic Republic and everything was segregated, right? And there was hijab and- Oh, um, really? Yeah, and so actually more girls in that sense had oh. access to education because of that. So it's an interesting one. Paradox, um, yeah. Um, yeah. And women do work massively. And of course, society has changed. You know, life has changed. You know, in Iran, both, um, you know, in a marriage, both uh, men, uh, the couple will both be working. It won't, it's, you know, like everywhere um, because of the economy. Everyone is working. Their lives are different. Um, that's so there's so, you know, progress. Right. Women are massively evident in Iran in public life. They're not sort of stuck at home. Um, they make up the majority of civil servants, teachers, nurses, that kind of thing. Um, they can hold a lot of positions. They are in parliament. Of course, they don't hold the top positions. Um, a woman's word is only worth half of that of a man in the court of law. So for example, you'd need two women to witness something, whereas you don't need one man to witness that sort of, right? Um, but, uh, you know, it, the Islamic regime is repressive for everyone. It's not just for women. You yeah. know? Um, <laughs> women do have it worse. But women do have the vote. There are elements of sort of and kind of a democracy built into the system. So it's not, you know, um, I mean, we Iranian women probably enjoy more freedom, actually, than Saudi women, you know who can't drive, who can't do anything, you know, step out of the house without a man. Um, and Iranian women have fought really hard to hold their freedoms, you know. They've been protesting. You know, the first women's protest against the hijab was like three weeks after Khomeini came back in the in 1979. So, you know, it's the, the women's movement is really strong. <laughs>